great episode of Rock and Talk and Talkin' with your hosts, Steve Lips Kubo and Kelly V. the Pop Pixie. Thanks so much for tuning in and supporting, and we've got another great show for you today. Thank you so much to uh, rockmetaltalk.com, as always, of course, and the RFL Records, Jonathan Machuca. Couldn't do it without you guys. Thanks so much. Thank you so much to Pirate Driver Records and Roy Stegman, of course. You are the other half to all my events and all my shows, and I couldn't do it without you, brother. Thanks so much for everything. I just want to also thank so much to Lips, my incredible co-host with Rockin' Token Talkin' in our group interviews. So, I hope everybody enjoys the interview. You spread, share, like, just grab your joint, grab your beer, grab a coffee, whatever it is you do. Just sit down and enjoy a great show, everybody. Thanks so much. Like I said, we're going to get right to that interview right now. Wow. Hello. There we are. There we are. Hello, everybody. How are you? Good. How are you? Wonderful. Everybody's here. Fuck. Wow. I know. I know. I know. All right. Hey, everybody. (laughs) I know. So why don't we start by introducing ourselves and where you're at right now? Oh. They all start. I'm Lips, and I'm going to get high right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in Toronto. <laughs> all right. Where are you uh, guys at? I'm Mindy from Dying Oath, of course. And I'm Jeb from Dying Oath. And we are out in Virginia. Oh, there wow. it is. I got it. <laughs> hey. What's up? <laughs> Thank you much. Nice to meet you all. This- Thanks for having me on your show. Hmm. I think Steve has to add his uh, camera. It's at the bottom left, Steve. Go ahead. Who are you? What band are you in? And where are you at? Me? Yeah. Jeff Carlson. Jeff Carlson (laughs) Band. (laughs) Where are you at, brother? Las Vegas. Nice. Las Vegas. I know, right? Got my money in a suitcase. (laughs) (laughs) Justin, where are you at? In Lizzie reference. <laughs> I'm uh, Justin O'Gorman uh, here in London, Ontario, uh, with Radio Western, CHRW, 94.9 FM. <laughs> nice, awesome. nice. Steve, can you hear us? Oh, no. That's my friend Stephen from Storms of Decay, all the way from South Africa. This is our second attempt at this, so hopefully he gets through. But um, how is everybody doing? Um, what's happening with the current situation in, say, Virginia with COVID? Is anything open? Um, everything is uh, pretty much on restriction right now. Everything is open, but everything is restricted. So there's not a lot of, uh, not a lot of shows and whatnot going on. And the ones that are going on, you know, they can't let a lot of people in. So, um, it's a, it's a bit strange. It's a strange time right now for sure. Wow. At least that's some hope. They eh, lips like they, they, things are open. We're completely locked down. Yeah. It's a lot of different there's a lot of different schools of thought with this whole thing. Who, who knows? I, I actually, I believe everything should have been left alone. And because I don't think we're going to really, at the end of the day, really save anybody. I think if you're, if you're destined to go, you're destined to go. I agree. I don't totally, I, I, I kind of feel that way. And, And basically, I think the only thing that's going to stop that from happening is actually getting the vaccine. So we're all, if you haven't had it, you're in a race against time to get the injection before before you catch the the bug. Yeah. And there is a there is a lot of there's a lot of question as to whether people are getting sick from the vaccine. 
they're not reporting it. You know, once again, it, w what we're depending is on is a world where everybody lies. So uh, I don't know. <laughs> we're going to find out, right? Yeah, yeah. Are you having a rough week, Lips? You're usually so positive. <laughs> you no, I'm not having a rough week. I'm actually I'm having a good week. I'm just I'm it's just there's things that are disturbing me. Certainly mm -hmm. that um, our country is closing down even not much more. Mm -hmm. You can't even leave the. You can't even take an airplane out. You can't go. You, yeah. You're you can't you can't come in and you can't leave. So. I think what I'm mostly concerned with, where's the end of the tunnel? Yeah. What's at the end of the tunnel? Do you like guys, even after we go through all this and we get our vaccinations and everything, everybody is fine and no one's getting sick anymore. What's what's the world going to be like? Are they going to still be told to wear masks when right at the beginning of the whole thing, when that guy, Anthony Fossey, got, got on the fucking TV and he said, Masks aren't going to make a damn bit of difference. And so far, the way I see it, they haven't. I'm with you on that, Lips. Me too. So far, they haven't. Why, why are the masks. numbers going up? Why right. are the numbers going up if everybody's yeah. wearing masks? And everywhere I go, people are wearing masks. Why are people getting it everywhere? Because masks don't make a fucking difference. That's why. Word. Word, brother. <laughs> you know? I mean, yeah, okay, well, I'll put a mask on. I, I'm fine. I, I don't have a real problem. Oh, my God, i got to wear a mask. It's like, it's not that big of a deal. But the end game, what am I doing it for? Yeah, yeah. yeah you're doing it to stop yourself from getting someone else sick. But if yeah. you're not sick, what's the fucking point? Exactly. It's a form of suppression, which I hate, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. I agree. And I think that um, I was a tattoo artist. And unless you're following other sterile routines around your mask usage, it's really pointless. Taking it off with dirty hands, putting it in your pocket, taking it out of your pocket, putting it on your face, touching your face. I mean, it's just ridiculous, right? Oh, but, well, the other thing that's, that's really, really come to light, and if you do any research, you find out there's only really one mask that that can actually stop transmission. An N95 medical mask. Yeah. Yeah. And no one wears yeah. those. I actually bought them. You don't see anyone them. wearing them. It looked like that's some hospital kind of... shit, right? That's a real mask. Yeah. All yeah. this stuff like, okay, Anvil selling Anvil selling masks. What does it do? Doesn't do shit. It's just a piece of fucking cloth. It, you, yeah. you, you can breathe through it. That means you're that means that you're transmitting. If you can breathe through it, it means the air is going through. And that's the end of that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, totally do, agree, bro. Do you think that there is there is any hope, though, like that we are going to see the concerts we need to, to go to back? Oh, no. My, my train of thought is I see it's already going on. I, my, my, my sound man who actually lives in Australia is out working. They're working in Australia. They're allowed to because they've eradicated the fucking the problem. And how did they eradicate it? Not a way that we want to know about. They had complete military lockdown. Yeah. You couldn't leave your house Yeah. in Australia. And they've they For put how long? an end to the problem. So, I just saw pictures from a festival that he was that he did. People are socially oh. distanced, for, for, but they're not wearing masks. Mm -hmm. Well, that's kind of hopeful in a way. I mean, that is. It is. It, it, to me, it, it's it, it's bound to come back. It's 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 going to be the will of the of the of the actual audience itself. The audience is thrive. It's just die. As bad as I want to go play, people want to go come see it. Yeah, Maybe I know. even worse. I, yeah, I think so. Especially think the, the, the being locked up like this is fucking frustrating, man. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. no matter what, how strong you are as a human being, how much you're going to put up with. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. We've been in complete lockdown since uh, the day before Christmas. 
So it's just been, you know, and then they're wanting to use possible military help to control things. And I just think it's going down a scary path. But then in other places, it's every state seems to be different. Yeah. Yeah, I, which I think is frustrating, you know, and it, but, but, but I don't know. Are you guys um, willing to take the vaccines to work? I don't work. I don't work, Kelly. <laughs> you don't work. Shut up. <laughs> I mean, to go I, to work. And neither do I. I've, I've been on a permanent vacation, man. I'm like, <laughs> But I mean, if it became part of your contract, would it be something that? As long as it didn't make me grow a, a horn out of my head. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wait, that might be a good look. I might go for that one. <laughs> yeah, no that kidding. That's what Abby yeah. said. I'm just quoting Ozzy. I can't, I'm not that creative. I don't come up with shit like that. For you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I know it's a controversial subject to, to be um, asking people on the show, you know, because it, it has such a divide between fan base you know you make a statement and maybe it's maybe it's too personal of a question is that well see i have crohn's disease actually and that's that's why i'm i'm actually disabled because of it yeah wow yeah yeah i mean i may i make a joke about not working but that's the real reason i'm not, I'm not actually able to work I'm, um i'd have to check with my doctor to make sure it didn't you know exacerbate any conditions of, that I'm already going through, you know. So. I have autoimmune disease. I'm terminally ill. I have some really rare conditions and um, they don't even understand my conditions on, on, a, on a first base, you know, let alone yeah. what the heck something like this is going to do to it. You know, I, I am know. Afraid, but if it will get me to a show next week, <laughs> Mark, Mark Real, I'm ready, I know, right? ready, uh, you know, I'm ready Mark to Real die from, for from it. Crohn's disease. You know mm. that, right? Who is that? Mark. Hey, Ray guys. Uh, Steve, yeah, I don't know if you guys can uh, hear me. Hey, finally. Hey, this is yeah, Steven from Storms of Decay uh, all the way from South Africa. So I think there's a little button you got to hit to get your video going. I'm so glad you came. Uh, yeah, on. sorry. I, I actually used to live in a cave. I'm not very... Uh, <laughs> Good with technology, but okay, I'm working on it. At least I got the audio sorted. Oh, or not. I don't know what it is about other countries. Seems to be hard to Zoom to get connected good. I think he'll come back. I'm really curious as to what's going on over there. But well, I guess... Pro Are you still there, Steve? Fucking bad. Uh, yeah, I'm here just uh, trying to figure out uh, the Zoom thing. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hopefully I'll come right. So um, how are you and how are things where you are? Uh, I'm all right. So I actually just came from work. Uh, so I just quickly got out of bath. Um, yeah, well, we're also in a lockdown. Um, but yeah, as an essential worker, I still need to go work every day. So yeah, that's actually kind of annoying because I was hoping to actually stay at home getting paid and record music. <laughs> yeah, that would be lovely. Is everything shut down there? Are, are concerts happening? Uh, yeah, well, at the moment, uh, with uh, the entertainment industry and the uh, live music and all that, it's not happening Um I mean, even our bloody liquor shops are closed. I can't even get a cold beer. Oh, wow. We consider um, marijuana shops and liquor stores essential businesses here. They're the only things other than the supermarkets and the pharmacies that are allowed to be open. Oh, uh, well, I really hate this country, but oh, well. <laughs> once, <laughs> I gonna, once I meet my forefathers, I'm really going to slap them and ask them what the hell were they thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you go. There you go. Um, I, I wanted to ask Justin, how do you think it's going to change like radio? Uh, I mean, since this all started, I mean, for the, the entire 2020, I've been doing my show from home. So, you know, I, I got my broadcasting uh, program OBS. And, uh, you know, as long as the dogs aren't barking in the background, I'm having a good time. Uh, yeah. 
but you know, it's, you know, just going back to the thing with the masks there. Uh, like I used to be, uh, an industrial sprayer, uh, you know, doing paint and lacquers. I was a woodworker for many years. I had to take weeks and weeks of courses on how to properly wear a mask. Uh, one job I had to shave my beard and I was considering quitting because I'm like, you know, I, I wanted to keep the fuzz going. And, uh, you know, if I put safety glasses on and they're fogging up, that's vapor coming out. So the masks, in my opinion, really don't do anything. I don't know if you ever had your shades on and they start yeah. fogging up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that means you're that. leaking. Vapor that means if you had COVID, it's all getting out. It's all coming out. Yeah. yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. it's that's what it means. It's paper so, that's what's so it's, fucking stupid. There's yeah. no regulations on it. Now, I, I don't have my mask with me, but mine says Def Leppard on it, so I don't even mind wearing mine, you know. I'm sporting it around uh, You town. know, everybody's you know, got their favorite band on their face, which I think is just a great marketing scheme, but I mean... Right. Um, uh, can you guys... Yay! Yeah. Now. I really want an autograph one of those lips, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> Um, but anyway, Anyways, yeah. nice, nice to see you all. Nice to see you too. It's late at yeah, night, man. so thank you so much for joining us. Um, we're just talking about COVID. So I wanted to ask, are you guys writing music right now and using this time to do more projects? Mindy, Jeff? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Um, I think that's really all we have been doing. Um, we've We've gotten to play a few shows since COVID, but as I said, it, it's been kind of strange, you know, because the crowd is all spread out and you can't really interact with them. Um, hmm. So we haven't taken on a lot of shows because, you know, we've got other things that we need to get done. We're getting ready to release some new music. So we're taking this time to go ahead and start writing on the next album so that if things do open up, we already have that, you know, under wraps. Ready to go ready to go. Yeah, so we're just using our time as wisely as possible right now. I think that's really all we, we can do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, what about you, Jeff? Is that the same thing? Yeah, we we um, actually, we had five, we were going to release a EP and we decided to go for a full length album because we were on a roll and we started writing and just kept writing and we've got our new, we've, we uh, got the whole record done and we actually did a remake of a Journey song called La Du Day. And I had Mark Slaughter play lead guitar on it, which was cool. Nice. He's a buddy of mine. Yeah. And um, the, we're, our first single off the new record, the new record is going to be called Yesterday's Gone. And um, the new single will be called, it's called Fire. It'll be out, uh, I think, uh, what was it, March 19th. And then the record will be released in April. Oh, nice. So I'm hoping by that point, some things will start to open a little bit, you know? I yeah. really hope so, too. I really hope so, too. Lips, what are you guys working on? What, what are we working on? Yeah. At this, at this point in time, lyrics. That's what oh. I'm doing now. <laughs> are you getting some I of that frustration I, I added into your lyrics? After I finish all the music, all the music is done. It's just, now I'm writing lyrics, so... Are you getting the frustration of what's going on right now into that lyrical content? Yeah, I, I guess you can't really help it do that anyway. I think it comes mm -hmm. out of whether you your environment definitely dictates to where, where it's going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, yeah, that's why every record is different, it comes at a different time in your life and a different different circumstance sparks different ideas and everything moves along so yeah the environment and what's going on is definitely going to have an impact oh, and in wow. fact the first song the first song is called that i wrote lyrics for is called lockdown so i, I guess <laughs> i guess the answer is yes yeah awesome. that's awesome. awesome that's awesome what about you steven i mean i know you're working but are you getting any chance to um write some relatable music to what's going on right now um, yeah, well, um, most weekends when I'm off, um, I try and record and stuff, but, um, I mean, I don't really do EPs or albums and stuff. I actually just release one song at a time and, um, it is what it is. I don't try and, um, you know, put a theme around anything or plan anything. Um, I just actually just 
go and sit in front of my studio and and I just start playing whatever whatever happens happens and that's that's basically how I do I do my music. I basically call it um impulsive creation. <laughs> oh wow. So yeah. That's so you awesome. never that's edit what, it. That's what it's supposed to be. That's what that's how you really write music. Yeah, that's yeah. What you're supposed yeah. to do. Right. You're not supposed to sit down and plan it like you're doing a like you're going to do brain surgery or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's about so, it's about fuck plug my guitar in and write a riff. That's all what it's about. It's like playing it comes out. That's the not, best stuff. That spontaneity is important, man. It's it the, the first the first two minutes is everything. Yeah, it's it everything. Is, yeah, true that. Well, I'm actually actually very excited because I got a new Jackson guitar today, so I really want to test it out uh, tomorrow. But uh, yeah, it needs new strings because I think these strings have been on here for freaking years. <laughs> I think that you get a new guitar almost every month. He puts up a beautiful picture of a new guitar. It's like, or are you trading them in or something? Yeah. Like, wow, you must have quite the collection now. Yeah. I love buying a guitar. Yeah, before. it's like you are the trade or you buy. And... I imagine. It's just like, it's like. <laughs> must be the best yeah. feeling when you bring it home and play it for the first time. Do you name your guitars, guys? Nobody's gonna yeah, admit it, but do you? Do. Are they female <laughs> names <laughs> like <laughs> boats and cars? I haven't done that since I, was, since I was a teenager. What was the last one that you named? What was her name? Um. Well, I've actually got a name for the new one. Um. I'm thinking of Boudicca. Do you guys know who Boudicca was? Yes. Boudicca. Yeah. Actually, that was one of my nicknames for a good while in the music club that I was in. Oh. Awesome. Big That's big awesome. <laughs> wow. Wow. So, see, yeah, it's I'll, not Boudicca, silly. Boudicca I... was... Sorry, go ahead. Sorry, yeah. I said Boudicca was this ancient Celtic uh, queen that completely fucked up the Romans. <laughs> <laughs> she did. She did. Yeah. Is she the one that rode naked? Is that? Am I thinking? Of... Yeah, well, uh, probably, think so. probably naked she with rode naked paint. on a white horse or something. Is that the same woman? Well, that's what Paul Stanley wanted to do across the Brooklyn Bridge. Ah! <laughs> I don't know, Libs, if you um... No, hey, listen, I, I'm not making it up. You can check it out. There's a kiss, there's a kiss interview on the Tom Snyder show from the from the 70s, and that's what Paul Stanley said his dream was. To ride naked on Riding a white horse. The Brooklyn Bridge naked on a on a horse. Wow. Is that that same interview that Gene Gene got pissed at Ace for being drunk? Is that that same interview? <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's I crazy. loved Ace, dude. Ace is the shit. <laughs> oh, what a it, it, Tom Snyder was freaking out because Ace Frehley's laugh. He has that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Insane, like fuck. <laughs> Oh wow, wow, that's awesome. That's hilarious. I mean, we had a joke to... about being the tr the bass player, the, the trout player, you know. <laughs> Ace was all drunk. That's right. That's right. <laughs> to be honest, I, I think being naked in war is pretty intimidating because um, I mean I will shit myself if somebody storms naked <laughs> down towards me with a freaking sword. Or exactly, <laughs> right? It'd be very distracting. Probably be the last thing you see, too, right? <laughs> we, don't, we don't ever need to see Paul Stanley naked on a horse. <laughs> no. Oh, no. No. He's no. 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 Somebody with the skills to Photoshop that, please. That as an image. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, that would be great. That would be great. Oh. Uh, well, Jabby, you haven't had much to say. What do you got to say about the whole situation? Who, me? Yeah, you, with oh, that so intense stare. He hasn't even said hello, man. <laughs> no, man, you know. I'm not picking up. Our, play, our favorite place to pl play here in Vegas is a place called Count's Vant. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. Um, Danny the Count Coker, he's got Counting Cars on the History Channel. He's got a rock club here that's kick-ass. But... 
they've only opened it on Fridays and Saturdays and there's no bands yet. So this is like, uh, anytime now. <laughs> anytime, anytime. Yeah. What did you say the name? Vamps? Counts Vamped? Vamped? Yeah, yeah. I played there two or three times now. Yeah, it's a fun gig, isn't it? It's a fucking great gig, man. Yeah, yeah. Ah. It used to be called, Vince Neal used to own the club before Danny bought it. It was called Feel Goods. And the PA in there is just bitching, man. It just thumps. Oh, fuck. So, it's awesome, man. The, yeah. The actual stage, the actual stage is Marshall. They've got these Marshall, yep. like a, a whole wall of Marshalls. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> just doing nothing? You don't need rig, yeah. man. They're already yeah. there. I know, right? Do you <laughs> actually use head. them, or are they just decorative? It's just decorative. But they've got cabinets in there. Mm, mm. That's yeah, way oh, cooler. Yeah. You're, going, you're going to the change room, and it's got all the all the the cabinets. That if you want to use them, they have sets of drums for for yep. bands that come in from out of town or stuff for for national bands that or international bands that come in without equipment. They have backline equipment there that you can use. Yeah, oh, yeah. Awesome. Many of those. <laughs> Many of those cabinets are only like it like this is, but basically mostly decorative because uh most of the times all the speakers are gone, so <laughs> oh that's probably true. Too. And I'll tell you, man, their steak, the steak that they serve you, fucking amazing. Oh yeah, they got great food. Yeah. The House of Blues here is kick ass too, man. That at the Mandalay Bay, we played there last year. That it's got you talk about a bitched PA in that place. Wow. Mm -hmm. I was That's at the one room. in Chicago. It was really great. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we were supposed to open for Tesla April 1st. And no uh, we were we were direct support because Frank's a buddy of mine. He played on my uh, last single jukebox hero that I did. And um, he got screwed out of that gig thanks to COVID. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> he didn't. He did announce that they were coming back on a, on a last interview. Um, so, oh, that's such a shame, man. Yeah. So well, many so good hopefully. things have been canceled. So, did, so as things get canceled, do they just go back on? Like, how does that work when it all comes back around? Well, this depends on Tesla. Doesn't have any open any gigs right now. They're they're Frank's producing other bands right now. Um, as soon as things start opening up, I'm sure they're going to go back out. I mean, once, once they reschedule the gig, we'll be back on it again, but mm -hmm. you know, is everybody just, just being put off and put off on their, on their bookings? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I talked to Mark Slaughter a couple of days ago and he said, they're just basically pushing everything back. Mm. What about I you, Mindy? Is it just like, um, well, the ones that have been canceled have mostly been, um, it was festivals and whatnot at the beginning of the year. And I so I thought about America and whatnot. I'm sorry. That was cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, basically since we were already on the show, whenever they do reschedule, we'll still be on those shows if they do happen. Um, a couple of the smaller shows just got completely canceled. Cut out. Cut out. Mm -hmm. um, but the ones that had national acts that we were on um, will be rescheduled. Uh, yeah. And what about you, Liv? So are they doing, like, are they guaranteeing that you'll have the same stuff once things start? Or is it just... There's no, there's no guarantees of anything. Um, basically, what happened is the 40 shows that, that got canceled that left England because we had done 17 shows and there was still another 40 to do and we had to go home because of COVID. So wow. that rest of that tour, we're going to, we're, we're planning on doing it after we finish recording another album a month before the tour. We're going to, we're going to go to, go to Germany a month before the tour and record an album, finish the album and then go and finish the tour for the last album. Oh, after wow. The wow. 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 So wow. We're hoping, we're hoping that by September of this year, that all this can happen. That, that's basically what, and all the, all the shows are there. We're hoping we'll see. T 
Time will tell. I hope so too. I hope so too. Yeah. I just you guys I'm, you guys see that Molly Crew show, Def Leppard show happening? I the stadium know. tour? I doubt it. <laughs> They're probably gonna push that back too. Everybody's oh, stuff is being... supposed to be. Well, it, I think the first show is supposed to be in May or June, but stadiums, man, I don't see. Well, that's not going to happen. That's no yeah. way. It's not going to happen. No, I didn't think really? so. Really? They could put like six cardboard cutouts in between each person, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> and just fake fans and like you pay to be a fan. I mean, but right? If they can do it for sports. Both, 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 both leaders of, of our countries. Are, are you know uh, true dope and that you guys have got riding with Biden there they they, they say that September everybody's going to be vaccinated well I know we'll right um, I just don't I why doubt are they it. making that promise we'll you know? are the vaccines so far, running so far they can't even get they can't even get they can't even get fucking fifty thousand people fucking vaccinated yet yeah yeah. So right. how the hell are they going to get millions done? Yeah. Are the well, vaccines... And, and it's all backed up. It's going to be fucking still another few weeks. It's like, wow. It's just, I don't know. Um, yeah. Just to add on that. Just to add on that. In South Africa, our government's so Thank corrupt, you. they'll probably steal the money for the vaccines and inject us with vinegar. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. Oh. This is like the U.S., bro. <laughs> Wow, wow. <laughs> or bleach, you know. I mean, it works for Americans, but I mean, oh, oh, that's horrible. That's horrible. I mean, w w are they like? Are you considered um, like us getting them in the first rounds? You know, or are you guys getting them after England and after America and after Canada? To be honest, uh, I really don't know and I really don't care because uh, I don't believe in a vaccine that's not actually been officially tested. And um, I mean, if you're going to inject all of humanity with a vaccine that's not been officially tested and you don't know what's the after effects, I mean, mm. fuck. I know, I right? I wouldn't take that chance. I'd rather do natural immunity's job. So, yeah, that's about it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. Officially. I do. Too. Well, the yeah. thing is, thing is, you know, you're, you, you're. What's the worst thing that can happen if you don't get the vaccine? You're gonna get sick. That's the worst thing that can happen. And it yeah. doesn't mean well, you're gonna die. Exactly. It, it doesn't mean you're gonna die. Okay. Like, I like the press die. tries to say. I'm still here. <laughs> yeah, but you know what added. I mean? Has like, anybody they, else they, they added? Well, they're, they're saying that 98% of people live. So 98% of people live. I think, basically, I think basically everybody already had it and they just didn't even know it. That's I right. agree. That, that's right. Many people have had it and didn't know it. That's right. Because yeah. you think, oh, geez, I've got a bit of a sore throat. Well, I've got a headache. And then it goes away and you don't think about it anymore. And I think that the yeah, people I mean, that they're pulling on the symptoms, you know what I mean? If you were asked if you felt every little thing that they were asking, you'd be like, hmm, did I feel a little bit of that, right? You know what I mean? Well, that's why, that's why they're going to get tested, get tested. And meanwhile, people are standing in line getting tested, beside, standing beside people who've got COVID. <laughs> right. So they go, get, they go to get tested and they get COVID. Yeah. That's, yeah. The, that's, yeah. that's the part that really enrages me. Like I'm right. gonna go to I'm gonna go where everybody's getting tested and where everybody possibly has the fucking bug. That's right. where I'm gonna go. But I, I'm not allowed to go to the fucking store. I mean, how come they couldn't develop something as simple as a pregnancy test to do at home? They know, just right? send you a little test, you do it at home, you come up positive, you gotta go somewhere. Yeah. I mean that's because they, they, they politicized it. I mean as far as yeah, I'm concerned, they politicize something that's, that's science. That's really fucking dumb. Yeah, <laughs> and it's made a lot of us really paranoid and not not fucking trust trusting anything that yep. That's why we have a doubts about the vaccine because you just don't. What are you going to believe? It's, what they're telling you? You can't exactly. believe fuck all. 
Exactly. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. actually there's actually a very very simple test you can do. If you can still taste the Jack Daniels, you're absolutely fine. If you cannot taste <laughs> it, you know you're fine. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. I mean, yeah, I think uh, it, it's done a lot more damage to media for sure. And I think, but I don't know. Okay. See, the other the other thing is that people have to really you have to really understand this is not fake. Okay, there are people. People are really dying. That is true. Yeah. It's not a laughing matter, and it's not. It's not. A, no, you're right. There is no, there is no question whatsoever whether this is really a pandemic. And in fact, as we are finding out, there's a lot more dead people than have been reported. Not the other way around. Mm -hmm. So that's yep. really fucking scary. I do think that things are being manipulated and controlled, but it is a real thing. And I'm I'm so saddened every time I hear somebody say it's just a hoax or it's fake or you know that they really believe that. That's what that's the most that's the most concerning. I think that's the most concerning thing. I think you're 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 absolutely correct, Kelly. That's the most concerning thing of all mm -hmm. is people walking around saying it's not real and it's fake. Thank you. Meanwhile, yeah. I've got I've got friends that have died from it. Yeah. Oh, man, excuse I'm sorry. me, that they sucks. didn't die from yeah. nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Per I personally, and once it affects you personally, it kind of puts a different spin on it for sure. Sure. But I mean, yeah, it does. We come to realize this is this is reality. It's not something that you're reading on the news. It's something your friend just told you. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, my, that's my, hard. My, my lifelong friend calls me and goes. My dad's got COVID. He's in the hospital. He's dying. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's not a lie. Yeah. And it's sure. a newscaster. It's, it's my, my best friend. So, oh. uh, you know, my, I'm sorry my, to hear that, bro. The guy, the guy who made so the Anvil movie, his, his mother-in-law oh, wow. just passed away from it. So it's, 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 it's out there, man. It's not bullshit. Mm -hmm. So, if you've got now, the thing is, you've got to question what kind of condition you are in as as a human being, and whether you, you want to risk if you get the thing, you want to risk getting the COVID, or do you want to risk taking the, the vaccine? It, it comes down to that. It, it's a I don't know where are we all going. What do you believe? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, like I but said, Jeff, case, we... I wish everybody the best. That's what I wish. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Yep. Is there anything you'd like to add, Jeb? You didn't get to say anything. No, it's all good. No, um, Jeb. Jeb. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I can't hear. I'm a deaf rock star. <laughs> we are Every, deaf. Everything I've, I've heard so far has been amazing perspectives, points, and, and everything else. And um, I, I completely agree with the fact that uh, if plain and simple if you if you deny that it's real you're just stupid it, it's not thank you wild. i'm glad you it's know, nice it's not, it's not fake or it's not anything like that and i know that the second that, said, the, the, the second that people said that it was uh you know oh it only affects old people and children and, and these these people with a mindset stop giving a shit mm. and that's not okay there's still a problem going on Mm -hmm. um, I, I actually believe that the people that are saying that it's fake and I, I have a strong intuition that they're actually so fearful, so afraid that they put up a, a wall of it's fake. Oh, yeah. And then I don't have to worry about it. Oh, interesting. Self-protection. It's, sort of like, it's sort of like the really shitty drummer who walks around saying, I'm the best drummer in the world. <laughs> And he's he's got to convince everybody that he's good because he is so fucking bad. And the meanwhile, he's the guy who's got the ego problem. So I'm saying that the person that says it's fake is the most afraid, is the most, is the biggest coward. That's really what it comes down I agree. to. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Well, um, we got one minute and 12 seconds, 10 seconds left. So, um. I just want to say thank you so much to everybody. Does anybody have anything they'd like to add or say? 
Well, we just want to uh, say thank you for having us. It was, it's been great, and it was nice to meet all of you. Yeah, nice, nice to likewise. It was great. Everybody's very cool, man. Great, great, great conversation here. <laughs> for sure, for sure. I'm glad you're in a happier mood now. Your 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 happy mood is so infectious, as well as your grumpy mood. I mean, I <laughs> when when you were first on this, you you seemed a little. Well, no, it's just that you know you got to come. You got to. It's all about emotion, man. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Life I'm is about you. emotion. That's how when you're the most alive. When you're angry, you're happy. That's when you're the most alive. I think <laughs> so. Too. That's why we're in the music industry because all of our emotions, man, they make magic happen. Exactly. So that's true. right. That's right. So true. Well, bless you all. Thank you so much, and we'll um. Thank you, Kelly. Help spread it Thanks around. Thank you, Dave. All right, you Thanks too. Everybody, Bye, take care. Day. Thanks so much to Jonathan Price, of course, um, to Jay Stone at Rob Pennell Talk of all, all these and forever, and of course to RFL Records, my listeners, and I really hope you guys help us spread this as far as we can. So much work goes into these. They're a lot of fun, but we need your support. So thanks again to Rock Metal Talk and to everybody out there. You've been listening to The Pop Pixie on Rock and Token Talk. Thanks, everybody. Bye for now. Keep safe.